Hey guys, Brittany Purcell here. And there was a topic that came up on coaching calls yesterday that um, I go over actually quite often, both with my team and with coaching clients. So I figured I would record a video so that it was here as a resource for you guys going forward in case we just haven't gone over that yet. Or if you're on YouTube that you're picking up on this and uh, you're getting some value from it. So a lot of times when people come into real estate or they're just in a stage in real estate where they're kind of in a chaos mode, they seem to be being run by other people's appointments rather than in control of their own schedule. And what I ask them to do is to first go back and look. The first step is to go back, pull out what you did for the last week. If you're not operating off of a calendar, do your best to go right down what you believe that you did that week and grab a pack of either highlighters or markers that are gonna help you through this, this project, okay? And you get to determine your colors and the way that you do this. I'm gonna give you mine. You don't have to take mine. You can do whatever you want, um, but create a little color code for yourself, like a little code over to the side that says this color means blank before you get started, okay? So what this looks like is you pull out your last week's calendar and all of the stuff that you did. And the first thing I want you to do is if you're choosing my colors, I would choose green. Green means go or green means money, right? That, that's what I like to put on my calendar. So green is how I would highlight anything that is making me money. If you're familiar with the 80-20 principle, what you're gonna be looking for is the things that are generating new income or you're earning a dollar per hour rate on these things. Um, in your administrative tasks, it, you know, if you're a, a real estate agent and you're in sales, those things might be essential, but they are part of the 80%. They're not the part of the things that are driving your business forward. And so I want things that are driving your business forward, the things that are in your 20% and, uh, and or they are making you money, okay? And so what that might look like is you're generating new business, you're uh, following up with current business, uh, you're going on the appointments to secure that business, but then once you've secured that business, anything that comes after that is going to be part of your 80%. And this could translate to any career, not just real estate agents. This is everybody. So we've already highlighted green. Most likely, if you've never done this before, maximum your schedule might have 50% of it in green. Some of you, it's even less than that. It's okay, it doesn't matter where you start, we're gonna start from there and we're gonna get better, right? And of course, I'll tell you what the goal is later on as you're figuring out how to operate your schedule, our goal is to get as much of it in green as possible over time. Once you have your green stuff highlighted, the next thing that I want you to do is I want you to highlight anything that you did say last week in any color that you choose that means somebody else could have done this, okay? Now, that could mean that like if you had enough money for an assistant, they could have done it. If you had enough money for um, a runner, they could have done it. Um, or you could have just asked your spouse for help or, or something like that, or a team member for help or, or whatever. It didn't really require you, but you jumped in there and you did it anyway, okay? Because you're a control freak like I am, I get it, it's fine. But at the same time, somebody else could have done that or maybe there was an easier way. I like to highlight those things in pink because it starts to kind of give me an idea of, okay, whoa, slow down a second. How can I re-strategize that going forward? Then I want you to pick a number, sorry, pick a color uh, for things that only you can do. I'm sorry, but nobody else can go to the doctor for you, right? Nobody else can have your coaching call with your coach for you. Um, not a lot of people can do your taxes except for the CPA, but you've got to review that stuff. There's certain things that you absolutely have to do that um, you're going to have to use your best judgment. Nobody else could have done that. Um, another example is like if you want to have lunch with your kids during the day or breakfast or something like that, nobody else can do that other than you. You have the right to choose that on your schedule. However, I want you to make sure that you're aware of how you're spending your time. And if you want to invest it wherever you've chosen to, great. It's just not a money-making item. And that's okay too, sometimes within a certain, uh, within a certain realm, right? Um, you're, so you're going to highlight all those things that you did that only you could do. There was absolutely nobody else that could do it. And then I want you to pick a color. Uh, I always loved yellow. Yellow was a great color for me for open appointments. So if I was going to have an open appointment available to meet with a buyer or seller, um, a potential recruit, etc., I would have open appointment and it would be yellow. It would say open appointment and it was yellow. 
then whenever I later booked that appointment and put somebody's name in there, it would turn, guess what color? Green. Now guys, I love a good electronic calendar because I can change the color on this stuff. If you're using a handwritten calendar, you're gonna to have to come up with a slightly different system for this, right? However, it is really good, even if you're using a handwritten calendar, to frequently go back and highlight what you have put in there and, uh, and what colors they were and how you spent your time. So overall, when I see people do this the first time around, what I tend to notice is that um, the first time they end up uh, having very, very little green on their, uh, on their schedule, right? It's not as much money-making activities as they thought. They were spinning their wheels, they were, getting, they were really active during the week, but they weren't really getting the productivity that they thought they were getting. Uh, with a real estate agent or a salesperson, that might look like getting on the phone and prospecting clients, getting out in front of people and asking for new business, following up with old business, going on those appointments, et cetera. So if you're not spending a ton of time doing that, it's going to reflect in your schedule later. Now, once you've highlighted all this, it's like, okay, right now I see my colors. What do I do from here? Well, you're going to analyze and look at, okay, how can I either reallocate, renegotiate, and, uh, and work on leveraging out the pieces? And leveraging is not a dirty word. Leverage is a beautiful thing. When you're leveraging someone else, they're leveraging you, right? You're going and creating business. They might be, ha they might have a job because you created it, right? You're leveraging each other, but for different things. And so when you think about, okay, how can I create another opportunity? I have to create enough business. I have to do not enough in the green zone on my, uh, on my schedule to make sure that there's space for somebody else to have an opportunity within my organization or just in my world. So you've got to make sure that you've got a lot of green on your schedule. So at first, you might just ask yourself simple questions like, how can I spend less time doing things that I didn't need to be doing, right? I could have handed that off. I could have done that after hours. I could have, whatever it is, take a look at those pink items or red, whichever color you chose, and ask yourself, could I have done that a little differently? Could I have done that faster, right? Um, there's a lot of times instead of like actually going to the post office and mailing something, most offices can print out shipping labels and, uh, and you can order shipping um, containers and things like that for flat rate, flat rate mail and have it shipped to your office for free from the post office. And people don't know that, right? You can leverage the post office and say, hey, I send a lot of stuff in the mail. Can you make sure that I have plenty of envelopes? And then you can print your shipping labels straight from the office, tape them on there, and shove them in a mailbox next time you think about it. You don't necessarily have to spend the 45 minutes driving to the post office to go uh, put something in the mail, right? 45 minutes, maybe they're back waiting in line, etc. You can save yourself some time. So when you ask yourself, like, could anybody else do this? It's not even just could anybody else do this, it's could I do it a little bit more efficient and effectively? And then what we want is to incrementally increase the amount of green time that's on your schedule. And so it's not like an overnight thing. We're not, um, we're not looking for you to like all of a sudden delete everything that's not non-essential and, and, uh, and it's not green and like erase it from your schedule. What we're looking to do is to control it into time blocks so that you know when you can get those things done. And we're looking to just incrementally increase how much time you're spending on your 20%. So um, over time, this will change a little bit. There's a little bit more advanced conversation for those of you who are in control of your schedule already and you know how much green is on there, but yet you still feel like you're hitting a plateau. I'll do another video for that that's separate, but this is the beginner uh, style, how to get control of your schedule and reallocate that time to something that, um, that will help you grow your business. And if you do not know what your 20% is and you would like to reach out to me or you're not sure what should be in green, feel free to send me a message either on social media, on, uh, via email, et cetera. I'm here to support you and help you. I don't care what career it is. We could probably get to the bottom of what your 20% is and how to help your business grow. And with that, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm Brittany Purcell running a real estate group in Northeast Georgia. We love your referrals and I hope that helps you all today. Have a great day. Bye.